Today I'm going to show you how you can turn a digital object into a 3D object. The first tool that we'll be using is Canva. Canva is a service that lets you design pretty much anything that you want. So the first thing you'll want to do is sign up or log into your Canva account and then create a design. I usually do it in inches because it makes it easier for me to have an idea of how large the image will actually be and then create new design. Once you have your blank design, you're going to go to elements and search for whatever sort of shape or image you want. In my case I look for a cat or cat face. You can sort it by graphics and look just for illustrations. And then when you find one you want, drop it into the canvas. Now the one that I'm using, I think I actually found through a Google search, but it wasn't quite what I wanted, so I dropped it into Canva. This is a fine option if you're doing something for personal use, but remember if you're creating something to sell, only use images that you have permission to use. So then after this, you're going to go to download. You're going to go to PNG and make sure that you check transparent download. Now transparent I believe is only an option if you have the monthly Canva plan. It's around $12 a month and it is well worth it. So once you have that, download it and save it as your transparent PNG. Now we're going to use a second service. We're going to use PNG to SVG.com. So SVG is the type of file that we're going to use to start on our 3D model. This uh, website is free, it's a free converter, um, so you can just drop in your PNG or JPEG and turn it into a vector image. So you're going to want to do image to vector, that should be automatically selected, drop in your file, and I usually reduce the color since it's just a one color image. Remember that even though it is free, you have the option to donate. So please donate as this is a very useful free service. Then it'll generate your SVG and you just download that SVG file and rename it to something that will be easy to find. Our final tool that we're going to be using is Tinkercad from Autodesk. Tinkercad is a really simple way to create digital models that you can then use to uh, 3D print or even do uh, laser printing. So it makes 3D design just super simple and it's free and they have lots of really great tutorials. So sign in and create an account there and then you're gonna create a new design. Once that loads and it gives it a, an awesome ridiculous name uh, such as Swanky Woof, Woof? Swanky Woof, yeah, that's it. You're going to go to import and import shapes. So. You're going to want to choose a file. As it mentions, it only does STL, OBJ, or SVG. So we're going to drop in the SVG file that we just made in the previous step. And it's huge. So you're going to want to scale that down some. You can grab the handles and shift click to scale it down and keep the correct ratio. You're also going to want to edit your grid so that it's in inches instead of millimeters. It's just more useful if you're doing something that's a little bit more large scale. The grid is usually set to about 8 inches, which is the standard size for a 3D printer bed. So just hit update right there, and now you have your shape. Um, I'm not going to really go through how to modify the model itself besides just changing the size. but for these purposes, I'm just going to make it really small and easy to print just for demonstration purposes. But essentially, you have taken your flat PNG, transparent PNG, and then made it into a 3D model. So to download this for your printer, you're going to click export and export as .obj. So once you have this object file, on your computer, you're going to be able to load it into your 3D printing software and then get started turning it into a physical object. In my case, I use Cura and I have all of my settings loaded in there. I print it using a plugin called Octoprint. 
so that I can control it all from my desktop. But you can also put it on an SD card. It doesn't really matter as long as it's that, that correct file and it's small enough to be printed on your printer bed, you should be good to go. Make sure you have your 3D print settings the way that you want them, what quality, what infill, all those sorts of things. When you get it the way you want, you can slice and start printing. You've taken a digital image and turned it into a physical object with basically little modeling experience. You can use this to turn it into all sorts of cool projects, like I used this one for my Arduino controlled light in my office, but I've also used it to make things like jewelry. I took a flat image from the game Horizon Zero Dawn and cleaned it up on my computer, made it into an SVG image, and this into a 3D object file, and I was able to print a piece that I can use to make a mold for resin pouring. So the possibilities are endless. If you like this video and if you found it helpful, let me know in the comments, and be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this.